your funeral here inside the Bell Mansion. Jesus, everything's going off. He bought this two years ago wanting to initially do like a bed and breakfast. Didn't work out. Ever since then, we just started doing ghost tours. We started doing paranormal investigations. When Nick and I would be in a room and just talking and he would play back the recorder and you hear other voices answering your questions, other voices that you knew weren't each other's. So I was like, oh crap, footsteps. Constantly hear footsteps up and down the hallway. We've heard disembodied voices, doors open and closing. It was a funeral home for 93 years. It was built in 1893 by Robert and Claire Bell. He was a state senator, very prominent lawyer. You didn't know anybody if you didn't know Robert Bell. He died in his room in 1901, and then another family, the Nobles, had it for about 20 some years, and then it was a funeral home for 93 years. His wife, Clara Bell, is one of the founders of the Fort Wayne Art Museum here in town. But a lot of well-known mediums and psychics have told us that Robert actually purchased Clara, was very, very controlling, controlling of her, controlling of the relationship, controlling of everything. He tries to still control this house now, but Claire is just very prominent. For the most part, it was a funeral home. We think anywhere from 400 to 500,000 bodies were embalmed here. A lot of emotion, a lot of viewings, a lot of sadness, a lot of just a lot of energy. Up on the third floor, uh, Nick and I were staying the night. It was just us two in the building. You could hear footsteps and then the door creaks open about 16 inches or so. We were just asking questions and there was no other female besides me. And you hear somebody go, yeah, like a female, the disembodied voice answering our questions. Women have gotten their hair pulled up on the bed before. They had a lot of servants, so we feel like Mr. Bell was not nice to them at all. There is a little girl, Samantha. She likes to just hang out in the basement and she plays hide and seek. We have a haunted doll, Scott. There is a spirit attached to him. He's a 14-year-old boy that actually slit his throat to try to play a prank on his sister. It was his sister's doll. If you take a black light to the bottom of it, you can see blood on the bottom um, of the doll. Getting their hair pulled a lot on the, in the servant's bedroom and hearing that growl and smelling that perfume really is mostly, we feel like, related to the funeral home. Just a lot of like in and out of spirits, in and out. I feel like Claire is very, very prominent. You know, Robert's not controlling her anymore, so she's just free reign. There's a little boy, David, that likes to hang out. There's a female that likes to, like, touch male's legs. Connor, up in the embalming room, likes to tug on people's feet. They'll run in circles, too. Like, if you put a bunch of, like, REM pods out and a bunch of equipment, they run in circles. For a long time, this was the only embalming services in Fort Wayne. There's a lot of energy here, for sure. You'll see the original embalming room, gurneys, body boxes, all the original embalming tables are still there. A lot of intelligent spirits. So this is one of our most interesting characters here at the Bell Mansion. We actually have a real life haunted doll. It's actually a 14 year old boy named Scott. He was born in 1977, he died in 1991. Unfortunately, he went and played a cruel joke on his twin sister and uh, he passed away from it. Welcome to the third floor. What's interesting about the third floor is this is the most original part of the house. In this room, we've caught a lot of things, shadow figures, we've caught EVPs. This is the room where we actually stay the night, Angie and I. In this bed, we heard footsteps come down this hallway. This door right here, I sat up to see who was coming. Nobody was coming down the hallway and I watched the door go. About to there. A lot of footsteps up here. Uh, over here is our famous poker room. A lot of interesting things in here. A lot of movement. A lot of the equipment will go crazy in here. REM pots, spirit boxes, portal boxes. As I'm walking back, I heard another set of feet shuffle. So I asked, was that you? And we heard a lady respond, yeah, like really loud. So we stopped our session Facebook Live, played it back to see if it was coming through a spirit box or if it was an actual disembodied voice and it was an actual disembodied voice. This is Gail's room. 
she takes a, a wide angle picture of our windows here. And what she found when she zoomed in is this lower pane of glass in the second window in, you saw a full body apparition of a lady from head to toe, repeats the name three times in a row. This is Mr. Bell's spot, this chair in the corner here. Mr. Bell likes to sit here because he can hear all the way from the first floor. He can see the second floor and the third floor. He knows Angie and I quite well. He knows what we're doing here. And then this is a really interesting room back here. This is the second servant's bedroom. Now this is probably one of the most active rooms. Quiet as a kid back here. This is the second servant's bedroom. Holy crap. Did you now, hear that? Just one head of the head most head. Josh. As a kid back here. There is a little boy named Andy in that room. Yeah, it's, it's back here. There's a kid back here, boy. Is he back here? Do you think one of us was your dad? That was crazy. Dude. You hear it? That, that, it was right behind me. It said, Dad. But there's no kids here. There's just Angie yeah, and Ricky downstairs. This is the second servant's bedroom. This is probably one of the probably second most active rooms in the Bell Mansion. It's in the back of the, the third floor here. Most of the time you'll have up to eight or nine spirits in this room and most of them speak German. It starts speaking German phrases to them, work like a charm. Female have had their hair pulled a lot in this room. Grandma flowery perfume in here. And then in this corner door, it's just like the doors in the big ballroom. Her name is Claire Pfeiffer. She's about four years old. She's about this tall. She has pigtails. She's either in a blue or pink dress. She comes over here quite often to play with the other child spirit. This has been something being told for decades from the funeral directors here, seeing her running up and down the hallways. This is Robert Bell's bedroom. This is the one he passed away in. One cool piece of evidence we've caught in here, Angie and I were investigating in here. We were sitting on the couch. We had REM pods all over the place. We were getting ready to do a spirit box session. And I was like, shh. What we heard was somebody pacing back and forth on the plastic on the floor over here. And of course we have the Lizzie Borden bell. Somebody gifted us the bell from Lizzie Borden's house. So hell, that might have something to do with it. This is Miss Clara Bell's bedroom. Clara is the most dominant spirit in this house. Uh, the easiest way to, to interact with uh, Clara is through a Ouija board. And I probably would say you four gentlemen will strike out tonight because she does not like men too well. So. But this is Miss Clara Bell's room, and then we're gonna head into the ballroom because that's where it gets interesting. And then the whole back of the house. So this is the second floor ballroom. Um, from 1936 until 2018, this was Clay, Melton & Falls uh, casket showroom. We have caught a boatload of evidence in this room between devices going crazy all the time. I've seen shadow figures in here. Multiple people have seen full shadow figures in here. Where we were investigating one night, she stopped. She said, Dad, you better come check this out. So I come and looked at it. She showed me about a 10 second clip. And in the right side of the clip, you see a white mist come in, which we've all seen white mist. But as it left on the left side of the, it literally formed a whole arm. You saw the forearm, the elbow, the bicep, everything. So that was a pretty cool piece of evidence. We used to call it the pink room. Now we call it Isabella's room. From our understanding, she died in a car accident. Her funeral was here and she's kind of stuck in her death state. Now, at some point we had a couple nasty spirits in the basement. So I called my friend in Randall Smith to kick those two spirits out. But we opened a door and allowed any spirit in the house if they wanted to leave, they could leave. Well, Isabella didn't leave. The last four months she's become very prominent including myself, two other staff members have seen her as a full body apparition. You'll hear her like singing and EVPs in here. You'll see shadow figures in here. And now you're in the prep room or AKA the embalming room. This is the most active room in the house. We have a lot of spirits in here, a lot of male spirits. There is a female in here too, but this is where I saw Isabella. We were standing about right here and I saw somebody walk up to the door right here. I see a female standing there and I thought it was his wife. This woman was in a white t-shirt and blue jeans. As I looked the second time, she was gone. As I turned to my friend to see if he saw it, I didn't have to say anything because his eyes were like this big. 
I believe that was Miss Isabella in the room next door. Now there is another prominent female that walks back and forth here. Her name is Maria. I think she was one of Robert's mistresses. Two little girls attached to this pink embalming table. There's a gentleman named Blake. There's a female. Her name's either Becky or Brandy. We haven't figured it out yet. It's a B name. And then of course our most famous one is Homer Van Meter. Most of the embalmings came here to Fort Wayne until other funeral homes kind of caught up. So somewhere between the 300 to 500,000 bodies have been embalmed in this facility. A lot of, a lot of energy in and out. We've seen a lot of full, full figure, shadow figures walk up and down this hallway. This is the same activity. A lot of kids like to come in here. They run around like crazy, act like kids. You do get a lot of interaction in here. A lot of REM pods, flashy things. Everywhere in the house, they love flashy things. So if you have something that lights up, pull it out tonight because they'll, they'll make it go off. So welcome to the basement, guys. So every square inch above us, we have the same amount of basement space. Now down here, we have a lot of old objects. So down here in the basement, we have three main characters. Over here, these are baby body boxes. Infant was to die at home. The funeral home would pick them up in a box like this, bring them back to the funeral home, stuff like that. We have Samantha. She's four or five years old. Unfortunately, she died in a house fire, but she loves the basement. She loves to run around. She plays hide and seek. If she's not down here, she's upstairs hip to hip with Miss Clara. She likes white teddy bears and cherry candy, but she loves to rub on men's lower half of their legs. Body boxes here. There's a double body storage or double body chute, however you want to call it. And these are all trans for transporting bodies, you know, via railway back in the day. We're here tonight to talk to you. If you want to come forward and talk to us. Kind of like moving all sort of, right? Mm. Loud bang. Yep, I heard it upstairs. Are you upstairs? Robert invited us here to the house. Just walking. If you can see or hear us, can you give us a sign? Let's go to the kitchen while we're down here, where that doll is that's supposed to be haunted. So this doll right here is supposed to be haunted by a little boy. He had slit his throat trying to play a trick on his sister. And that was actually his sister's doll and supposedly his spirit. And he moves and plays with the Ouija boards when they're out. So we stuck that up as a trigger object. Scott, if you're in here with us, or if you're attached to that doll, can you give us a sign? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, front, that's the front door. Security lights just on. What was it? Scott, are you in here? Who made that noise? Can you come in here with us? Oh, sh whoa. Hello? Scott, was that you? Sean, they did say that the kids like run around yeah, this were. area in like circles and like to play like hide and seek and play games with you. Scott, are you down here? If you're out front where we was just at, do something really loud for me. Before you start talking. What was it like? Oh shit. What? Something just f***ing touched my arm. Something over here. Like the hair on my arm. It was like somebody came up and just took the finger. Who just touched me? That's creepy because it's like my arm's like down like this, so it's like the height of a kid. Child, yeah. Whoa, 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 what the? <laughs> Let's go back here. If you touched me, that's okay. We came here to talk to you tonight to play with you. 
We brought all kinds of equipment and new toys for you to play with. They said that you like to run around in this room. You get that SB7. Yeah. I'm going to set my alarm right here. They said that you set alarms off in here. I'm going to back away from it. If you want, you can go up to your new toy and set it off. If you touched me, can you walk over there and touch that device? If we leave the room, will you come in here and play with that? Hey, Josh, I'm going to sit like right here, face alarm. You guys just walk out there and start into that one room and start talking to Scott, okay? Okay, we left the room that's got the alarm. No way. It worked. It's blue. Are you in there with Sean right now? Oh, Josh, Josh! Get in here! Everything's going nuts. What? Everything's going nuts. That Jeez. light turned blue and then this thing over here freaking went blisty. Thank you for setting our alarms off. This is our friend Rob. You can go stand next to him. Hi. That was so creepy. What'd you ask when you went in there? <gasps> Thank you. If this is somebody else, maybe Samantha's up here. If this ain't Scott and it's somebody else, can you set that alarm back off for us? I keep hearing walking. Do you hear that? John, let me see that camera. Whatever you asked, right when you went in there, that's right when it did it. I think I asked it to come in here with you. Did you? Yeah, I didn't know. That right there. What was that? That's the uh, REM pod. That's upstairs. If you set the alarm up upstairs off, can you do that again for me? Oh, it's in here. Scotty, can you come in here, buddy? Can you set the other alarm off for me? The one on the table? It's sitting right by the Ouija board, and we heard you like to play with that. Okay, you can follow us. We're going to go upstairs. They said they hear people walking on this plastic. Is anybody here that's attached to this bell? Can you walk on this plastic next to me? Oh, that was a scream. It's like a kid screamed. It, it came that way towards the third, the oh, stairwell. Because it was like muffled, so I was thinking it was up the floor. This is where we heard those freaking kids earlier. Who is the child that we heard up here earlier? We came here to talk to you. Is there anybody in here? They said that somebody speaks German in here. Ist hier jemand drin? Can you knock on something? Kannst du an etwas klopfen? Did you die here?
Did you hear that? Yeah. You're out there, Rob. Creaking. Feel like someone's on my side. Just pushing against my stomach. Is anyone there? I can hear an alarm going. Can you hear an alarm? There's an alarm going. Yeah, there sure is. Go down there. Oh, it went off right when we came down here. And remember when we were setting stuff, feel how much colder it is. Come in here, feel yeah. how much colder yeah. it is in here. Okay, it's all true. It's the temperature. And we were setting stuff up. I told Claire, I said, you can set our alarm off at any point and we'll be back up here and talk to you. This room is like ice cold. Yeah. Claire, my name is Josh. We're here tonight to talk to you. We heard that your husband, Robert, wasn't very nice to you. You're a We're going to be nice to you tonight. Can you set our alarm off again, Claire? Something just Some here. Right, right behind Just me. here, you feel it? I'm freezing. Feel my neck, Rob. All of a sudden, yeah. Feel right up here. Are you next to Rob right now? I'm freezing. Oh, no way. I can feel it. I can feel it. She's kind of grabbing me on. Hi, Clara. I'm a friend. God, she's got my arm. She's got me on. Just, just below my elbow. They said that you like to paint. Oh, you know what? She's still holding my arm. Yeah, something's like breathing on me. My yeah, whole she's back still... is freezing. Okay, let's keep, let's just talk to her. Cool, Clara, I can feel you touching my arm. Oh, I feel like she wants to push me over towards that sofa. Do you want to go over here? Yeah, it just feels like she wants to push me over here. Cold breeze. I got a cold breeze all over me. It's like, boom, oh man. Claire, if you're in here, can you set that alarm off again for us? To let, let us know that you're in here. Can you knock on something? Oh, that that. go out there. Thank you. Rocky, walk down by that hallway by yourself by the stairwell where the exit sign is. Are you down here? Claire? Andy, are you down there? Man, I got a cold breeze on the back of my shoulders. Are you up here standing right next to me? Oh, hey, it's on pins and needles now. Yeah, my whole arm has got fingers all on pins and needles. But she's just gripping my elbow. Tight. Robert, are you in here? Just below my elbow. Clara, are you touching Rob? Hi Clara Ash Rob. Where's the locket? What room? Where's walking. Where do we need to go? If this ain't Clara, who is this? Are the kids allowed in this room? That's what whatever touched me was like super light. It was like yeah. just it touched like it almost like as if somebody was coming up and like afraid to touch you but barely touched like yeah. hairs on your arm. Yeah, it was just was that sneeze or sings. Yep, we put that alarm there so we know if you're in here with us. Clara, are you okay? Clara, I like your dress, your white dress on the sofa. Do you like it?
Ooh, did you hear that? You said yes. Yes. Yeah, I thought I heard that too. I bet you looked very pretty in that dress. Was that your favourite? Where you are, Clara, in here. Are you sitting down? You know what we should do? Let's set up cameras. Heaven. Heaven. Let's leave Rob. You can sit Have on the Have you been to heaven couch. yet, Claire? And see what we get. You want to? Yeah, where are you guys going to be? Just here. Yeah, we'll just go down the hallway. Three. Three. Okay, sit down for a second. Let me see. Clara, you... I'm sorry. I want to be your friend. friend. Stress. I am at the moment. Are you here with me, Clara? Clara, did you enjoy living in this house? Did you feel at home? Clara, are you by the door? goes out to the balcony. Grandfather. Your grandfather is by the door. What's his name? Did I just see your reflection in the mirror? Clara, was you poisoned? Who poisoned you, Clara? John. John poisoned you. Who was John to you? Rocky was hearing stuff downstairs. Let's take that. I yeah. swear someone was just in that mirror. There's all the door. This door was all creaking. That's why I asked if someone was in the door. She said her grandfather was in the door. And then something caught the eye in the mirror and there was just something in the mirror. They catch stuff in mirrors here. Sean, grab that camera. Let's head back downstairs. Thanks, Clara. We'll be back soon. Let's go check the uh, bombing room out. Kathleen. Kathleen? Was that one of the names on the list? Caution. Caution. We take Kathleen caution. Or caution me. This is where we'll be one day. You know. Dirty. It's going off. Was your body brought here? They said there were over 400,000. What is your name? My name is Josh. You actually feel sick to your stomach laying on this table. It's freaking weird. Just think how many bodies probably laid on this table. Was your funeral here inside the Bell Mansion? They said Mr. Bell was mean to women. Believe. You can come up and touch me. Can you tell me how you died? Are you still in here with me? It's like it sets that off every time for yes. Healthy. Healthy. I think I'm healthy. Hopefully I've got a few years before I actually am stuck on a bombing table. Do you remember how you died? Hand. Hand. Jesus, everything's going off. That freaking thing's going crazy. You like setting the alarms off? 
they go off anytime you get close to them. I'm going to leave this room. Do you want to say anything before I leave? Cursed. Cursed. Who's cursed? That was definitely the table I was just on. Did you hear that? Yeah. Man, it's back here right now. Cause it ain't shutting off. Both of them's on. I got the wheelie. Switch. Back. Switch. Yeah, that was something. Tap that. that Maybe it wants us to switch. Tap that metal. You want me to slay on it? If you're gonna stay up here. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, I know. Was that too? Like this. Where are you? We're right. in the bombing area. Right here with you. You said switch. Do you want us to switch out? Yeah. Go okay, thank you. Father. Does your father work on your sister? Don't. Don't. Did your father die in here? Hand. That's twice it said hand. Twice. Did your sister lose her hand? Yes. <gasps> no way. No way. You walk over to Justin, job. look. Do what? Justin, look. Hand. Jesus, it keeps saying hand over and over again. What happened to your hand? John. Find me. They said they like to play uh, I nice. don't see. Where are you hiding? I mean, for a guy that, send them out there, Josh, and see if they get that one, the one piece. Agreed. Oh, no way. Let's reset the batteries real quick and then. Josh! 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 Copy. Hey Sean, we are on the second floor. You are running in the basement. Okay. Can you still hear me? Yeah, we hear you. This is so creepy down here. Can you tell me why you stay in this basement for? Get out. <gasps> yeah, I'm Child. Poor. No way. Child. I got goosebumps. Run away. Jesus. Okay. Josh. Copy. Josh. Jesus. Copy. Go for Josh. I just turned this ghost tube on. It said, how old are you? Then it said, get out, child. Okay, we'll talk to her. It's done told me to get out of here twice. It told me to run away too. Hey, what are you talking to? Can you tell me what your name is? Mary? Mary, how old are you? Back here in the back. Mary, if that's your name. Oh my god, I can't do this. Holy shit. Louder. Sorry. No, you're doing stuff loud enough. I can hear you in the other room. It's really. Kind of scary down here. Do you ever go upstairs? Walking. Holy crap. I thought I'd be talking to Samantha down here. Seems like a lot of people talk to her, but 
they do say that there's other people. I'll tell you, it is so dark down here. <gasps> Holy shit. What the hell is that? Come on, please. Just, I don't even know. I could deal with the quietness, I guess. I don't know. I know I'm down here to try to talk to you, communicate with you, but I get scared really easy. Holy shit, okay. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh my god. There is something back there. Who's back there? I'm hiding. Where are you hiding at? You don't have to hide. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. The only bad thing is I'm scared shitless to even freaking walk through. Leave here. All right, I'm out. All right. I'm done. You tell me to leave. Four freaking times. Go for Josh. Why, what's happening? It's freaking nuts down there. And then that's, I'm telling you, the four times of it telling me to leave and get out, yeah, I'm done. Okay, you and Rocky go to the third floor, me and Rob will go to the basement. Close. I would say close. You're close. You sit here, Rob. My name's Rob. Who are you? That was loud. Undecided. Who is back there? Samantha, is that you? Female. Liar. Female liar. I've, I've heard that a little girl likes to be, likes to pull on people's hair. Is that you? How old are you? Oh, a huge ball of light just went right by you. Are you hiding? Walk back that way a little bit. That's loud. Timothy. Hi, Timothy. How old are you? so freaking loud who's back here ceremony like a funeral henry henry how old are you henry I like you too. Friendly. Are you happy? Whoa! Ooh, that wow! It's back here behind me. No, that was right above, right here, yeah. at the top of these stairs. Is that where it came from? Can you do that again for us, please? Josh, come on. 
I know where it is. No way. I swear I think I just heard this alarm. It sounds like a freaking echo, like this room, and I remember the echo in this room. Did you set the alarm off in this room? Did you hear that? Yeah, back in the stage. Oh, there's a hum or something. No, there's a bang. bang. Hit something again for us, please. We can hear you. There's Walter. Josh, go stand by the steps and see if you hear it upstairs better. There you go, just stand here. Are you upstairs? Scott, is that you up there setting that alarm off? Ooh, that was super loud. It's like it's moving something. Yeah. Scott, can you set one of our alarms off upstairs? Like you did earlier? What's up, Bert? There's a kid. Ooh, did you hear that? Scott? Did you hear it? If you're in here, buddy, can you set one of my alarms off? She said that they always, the kids here, like like to play hide and seek, like they'll make noises where you try to come find them, which is like super freaking creepy. Who's up here with us? Isabel, do you ever come down here? Could you? Holy shit. Some just pushed on the whole camera. I was coming around there and it, like something like pushed this way. That's pretty creepy. If somebody's down here, we keep hearing you. Can you set one of our alarms off for us? Is that you? I told you you're fast. Sean, go by the stairs. You just forgot to touch me. Me and Rob sat here on the steps. This be a perfect time you can run by one of us and touch one of us really fast. Whoa. No kidding. No, that was a, like a thud. Children, close. How many children, Clara? Clara, is Andy with us? Yeah. So noisy. 
Clara, is Andy there? Okay, we've got a device here, Scotty. Come stand by the doll if you're attached to it. Clara, are the children gone? I'm hiding. Oh, they're rude. Oh, I might have shoved it out. Anything? Mm -mm. Clara, where are you hiding? Clara, are you hiding from me? Clara, are you hiding from the children? Clara, did you have a happy marriage? Peaceful feeling. Hmm. You feel peaceful now? So you had a happy marriage? To Robert. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us, Clara. Are you still hiding now? Empty. Worried. You're worried, Clara. What are you... Wor what are you worried about, Clara? Is anyone in here? Oh, something's right by you. There's a kid. By me? Yeah, go forward again through that doorway. Is that Isabel? There's a kid off to your left. Probably about half the height of you, maybe up to your waist. What's your name? Can you knock? Start. Finish. You want us to finish? That shook the whole building. Yeah. Like going in there. What do I do? What's the problem, Clara? Can we help? Look after me, Clara. Please. Somebody say something. Wow. Sound like something goes shine. Coming in, Clara. Three. Three children. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh, oh, bitch. Oh, I just feel. Oh, man, I just had something, too. Holy shit. Go in there. Oh, in front of you. It's going to be right in there. That's where it's always is. Is something bad, Clara? Clara, look after me. Yeah? Yep. Clara, look after me. You're my guardian angel, Clara. Hi. Is anyone in here, Clara? Clara, where should I go? Grandson. Your grandson? What's his name? Oh, knocking. Clara, is it safe? Is it safe in here, Clara? There's like a man standing next to you. No, he was like there for like a split second, like a 
legit man. I won't go back and look at that. Because we were both moving. And let's go down this hallway real quick. Let's go to his room. Clara, we're friends. We can help you. This originally was the servant's kitchen. When the Klain family bought this room, this became their first embalming room. That's why this little room has three doors. Clara, is this you? Child, are you from here? Yes, we are, Clara. We're local, we're friends. Knife. knife. Has someone got a knife, Clara? What date is it? It's 2022, Clara. Claire, we'll see you in the basement. You can come with us and protect Rob. Protect me, Clara. You're my guardian angel. Is anyone here? Oh, there's a little kid right next to you. I just, I just yeah, went right away. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so you just pinched my head. Right whenever you it said something, like exactly when that spoke, yeah. it showed up and then the kid went. Fucking behind us. What do you need help with? How can I help? Go closer to her toys. Where are you? Samantha? Busy. You're busy? What's your name? Who are you? I'm a friend. Josh, Josh. What? Right there. What the heck is that again? It's the same thing from upstairs. Samantha, we're going to leave. Can you come out and talk to us before we go? Today. Yeah, we're going to leave, Samantha. Have you got anything to say before we leave? It's getting late. We want to thank you for coming out and talking to us tonight. We enjoyed our time here inside the Bell Mansion. Did you enjoy having us here? Finish. Oh, we're done. Yes. Thank you for having us. Whoa. No, that's it. That's that that's that's garage. That's that. Listen to me. That's that garage door. That's how it goes right above us. Garage is that way. Get out. Oh, no way. Told you. Yeah. Eventually, get tired of you being here. It says, place. finished, get out. Yep.